Hello, I'm Pocket Paul here, and today I am bringing you AZ screen recorder. This is what I used to record with. I get asked this every day, and in quite a lot of my video comments, you know, what I record with. So I thought I'd upload a video to show you guys what I record with. Now, I do realise that it's Friday and it's meant to be Minecraft, but I'm at my girlfriend's parents' house who have really bad internet, so I just wanted to put out a quick video and answer the question that has always been asked. Now, as you can see in the background, it's AZ screen recorder, and you can see this little block here is what I used to record. I am using a different screen recorder to record this because obviously I can't use the same one twice so hopefully the quality is pretty good it's not the best one I prefer AZ screen recorder so bear with me guys if the quality isn't as good I'm just going to go into the settings and show you what this app is capable of and you know the little things that you can do with it now as you can see you can use the magic button which is simply tapping at the top to pause and start the video again it's really good and I always have that on your resolution, you've got quite high resolution, so you can have different resolutions for different videos depending on what you need. The frame rate, you can pick a different frame rate. I obviously I always have 60 frames per second because that's useful and it's always a better, better quality. Your bit rate is auto or you can have it up to 24. I use it as auto. The screen recorder I'm using now only has it up to 10, so that's why the quality has dropped a little bit. The orientation is pretty good to have it as auto because depending on where I have my screen moved around, you can obviously record at different angles not angles different orientation and obviously it picks that up we have time lapse which is the video speed i've been using it at three because i've been chucking up minecraft pixel out which i hope you guys are really enjoying and um, obviously if you click on disable you have it at your normal speed or you can even slow motion things up which is good record audio it doesn't record audio when you're doing a time lapse which is obviously understandable because if else you wouldn't even hear what the person is saying and the text and logo bit, now this is something I really rate AZ screen recording for because you can upload a text and logo as you can see here if I click that it shows my logo and you can have the image, any image you want, you can change the size so as you can see here I can make it really big or I can make it really small depending on how I want it. I think I had it around 13% just to show and you can show a text and I have subscribe you know you can have anything that you want and I think that is really good you can also have like a background color and stuff but because I've got a transparent logo you know I find it pretty beneficial just to have it as it is it's just kind of like a bit like a watermark really a watermark my videos so people can't see it now it does have a show face cam or rear camera I'm not going to click this right now I'm going to do a face reveal I'm not quite sure what milestone I'm going to do at, but I will be doing face cams in the future and obviously as you can see it shows front or rear camera and you can move it around the screen so you can have a good orientation of where you want it in the screen so it's not getting in the way it's also got a lot of camera settings and you can obviously have your countdown so you know you can prep yourself up and get ready for your videos and that is really it for the settings it is a very simple app to use um, I believe it does have a premium and uh, did I pay the premium I'm not quite sure I don't think I did play the premium this is literally just a free app that is out on Google Play it's not out on iOS but it's Google Play a lot of people ask me about it there's no root needed or anything like that this app works on any Android phone as long as it's available on your up-to-date Google Play and it's brilliant and I really recommend using it this was literally I think my second find that I found when I realised I wanted to start doing YouTube videos and it works the best that I've found so far. I've tried others because I want the quality to be the best and it's just, it's flawless, it really is flawless. Now the only problem I've found is because it has a high resolution, I can't edit in 2560 by 40,000. Any of the editing software, it won't work because it's too high of a resolution so I actually have to drop it down to 12. 80 by 720 to actually be able to get editing software now if you'd like to see what editing software i'm using drop a comment in the video down below and i will show you a next on what i use to edit with i hope this video has been useful and answered some of your questions and i hope you guys try it out and get yourself some youtube and get yourself a channel so until next time guys i will see you later